Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to eliminate the darts on the back of a shirt and these darts are located across the shoulders on the yoke seams. And the block that I'll be using today is size medium men's shirt block. And the method I'll be showing you will have minimum effect on the balance of the shirt pattern and the fit of the shirt. So the pattern that I'll be needing today is my front, the back, and the yoke. So the yoke fits onto the back like this, and this you can see this gap when your centre back is straight. This is the dart and it closes like this. So this is a base that I've done of the back and the yoke and this is the area that we'll be concentrating on. So the green lines here are my yoke. The dotted line is the outside edge and the solid lines are my sewing lines. And this big block in blue is the back body. My centre back is straight. So let me bring back the pieces. So this is where the yoke goes. And usually when you eliminate a dart, you would slash somewhere else and close the dart. And that moves it around. But in this case, when you close it just like this, you can see a gap here. And this actually increases the back neck circumference. So we can't do that. And it also makes the shoulder more sloped and it will adjust the fit. And you're also opening the gap between the centre back and the shoulder, which means your back neck will be wider than the front. And this might pucker up the back when a shirt is worn and you'll have some loose gap that you would just want to pinch away. So we can't just eliminate it like this. So the first thing that we need to do is see how big the gap is between a yoke and the back. So I'm going to measure from my sewing line to my sewing line, which is the solid one to the solid line. So here I have got one and a half centimetres, so that's how much we have to eliminate and move somewhere else. The first thing we're going to do is, so I have my back and my yoke. The first thing that we can do is to actually close the back and the yoke parallel like this. And you can do this up to five millimeters measuring from here to here. So I can move the pattern up five millimeters. But make sure the back is still straight. So if I measure it, the gap now, what I have left in my dart is 12 millimeters. The 12 millimetres is now going to be eliminated, so I'm just going to fill this in and there'll be no dart. Make sure your centre back is completely straight and then these two pieces can be taped up. This is one piece, but of course if you still want the yoke, you can just slash anywhere you want and that will be your seam. At this point, I'm going to bring back my front pattern. And now remember that I filled in this 12mm gap so that the whole armhole is 12mm bigger than the original. And now I'm going to take that 12mm away from the seams. And the first thing I'm going to do is take it from the shoulder. Now this seam is slightly to the front, but I'm going to take 6mm from the natural shoulder line. So if I just fold it, like the natural shoulder would be. So this is my natural shoulder line. And I'm going to take 3mm from the back and three mil from the front. I'm gonna mark my three millimeters. So essentially, I'm only sloping the shoulder three mil more. 
which does make a lot of difference. So that's three mil on the back and three mil on the front. So my shoulder is now slightly more sloped. So that's six millimeters eliminated. Remember when you do take that away, you might need to smooth this corner. Now the other six millimeters, I'm going to take from the bottom of the armhole. And the easiest way would probably be taking it in from here. So if I swing this side seam a bit shorter and swing this one a little bit closer, that will take away my six millimeters, but it will make the chest circumference a little bit smaller. And if that's not what you want, the best way is to raise the side seam and just scoop it so that the armhole is a little bit shorter. Remember, whatever you raise from the back is also what you'll need to raise from the side um, of the front so that your side seam still measures. And all you need to do when you've scooped the shape that you like is to make sure that the circumference is what you wanted, which is to eliminate 3mm from the front and 3mm from the back.